Hey there, thanks. Um, two questions. Can you give us an update on the Afghan casualties who were taken to Landstuhl or other US medical facilities from the Abi gate bombing? And also, um, what guidance are you giving US military personnel who are trying to shepherd along their Afghan interpreter or other threatened Afghan cases, mainly in the P2 category? As I've heard from people who are worried that they hear state talking about American citizens and legal permanent residents, and it feels like the P2 category has just dropped off the map and they want to know if um, the Biden administration is still trying to get threatened Afghans out. I can't help you on your first question, Kim, but I will uh, take it and we'll see. I, I can't promise I don't know how much we're going to be allowed to speak to uh, uh, the, the, the wounded of, uh, of another nation, but I will, we will certainly look into this and, and see if we have something for you. I just wasn't prepared today to have any detail on that. On your second question, again, uh, questions about uh, visas uh, and how they're being processed is better put to my State Department colleagues. What I can tell you is uh, that we have uh, been already talking to veterans groups uh, quite frequently uh, about their concerns over specific individuals and or specific families. Uh, many of us here in the building also have, uh, you know, F friends uh, and, and co-workers and, and teammates that, that we know of. And so uh, we, uh, uh, you might have seen uh, General Milley uh, uh, tried to help put together uh, a process by which these veterans groups, whether they're formal or informally um, uh, developed, uh, a process by which they could communicate directly with the department uh, about individuals and family members that, uh, that they want to make sure are on our radar screen. And so we're going to continue to try to improve that process and improve that communication uh, so that we can uh, we can continue to help as many people as possible. Another flight left uh, yesterday with, I think, more than 20 uh, American citizens on it. So as we said earlier, though the military component of this effort um, has ended, it doesn't mean that that the uh, DOD or the interagency or the administration is going to turn a blind eye to the effort to continue to try to get uh, American citizens out of Afghanistan and to continue to help those Afghan allies who helped us so much over the last 20 years. Orrin. John, two questions. Uh, is there any detail you can offer about DOD and Transcom of 